You're watching Bobo Brain. All right, last epoch. We're in it. I don't want to hesitate. We're having fun. Uh, two hours into the stream. We got a few more hours to go. Dang, bra baby brain's not even off the bus yet, dude. We're crushing it today. I went into work early today and, uh, I guess I got out pretty early as well. All right. So this is Brobonius, my spell sword. He's extremely low level. Uh, I got much further on my offline mode. Basically the end of time, that, that sort of thing. But we're not quite there on this dude yet. <clears throat> Um, where am I? What am I doing? Uh, find the summit. Okay, that's got you. Search for the missing keepers in the highlands. Uh, I think I need to go back this way. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of, uh, what are these called? ARPGs, something like that. But... Like, I'm not like a mega fan, but I definitely enjoy playing these games a lot. Usually I'll get to the end game and then depending on the game, the end game will be a little bit too grindy or not exactly what I'm into. So, but playing through these games, I always have a good time. Um, where am I? Where am I going? I think we're going off to the right over here. Rogue Wasp with the lurk. Go give him a follow. Like, what is this icon here? Everything oh, okay. okay. What? That must oh. be an Osprey. What happened? That must be. We have to say their camp is not far. Are you sure? You'll stay safe. Okay, so I'm going to skip dialogue until I get to the point where I haven't seen it. And then I'm actually, I want to listen to it. I don't know why it's not tracking the quest. Excuse me. It should be showing where to go on this mini-map here. It'd be, um, blah. yeah, basically the point that I've got to, oh yeah, I forgot I had these two little pets following me around. I thought they were summons, but they're not. Uh, the point I got to in the offline mode was I went to the end of time and then I found some kind of, uh, what is it called? The last something, uh, last refuge, something like that. And I like talked to a few people and then I think they sent me back in time. And that was kind of where I, I was like, okay, I want to play this online now. I stopped playing. But the VOD is up on the YouTube channel if anybody's curious about it. Okay, now I'm seeing quest marks. This is good. I really like that ice spell. Super nice. Super effective. Does a lot. Ooh, teleport. Nice. I don't know. Normally I'm a big fan of teleport, but I didn't really like the way it was working with the necromancer. Although that is cool that both necro and mage can, uh, Teleport. Chewy. I'm Marty McFly. Why is that? What did I do? Oh, going through time. Is that what you're talking about? They sent me back in time. <laughs> uh, that's actually one of the things that really piqued my interest about this game is the whole time traveling mechanics. Like, it seems like it could lead to a very interesting story. Yeah, I got you, Chewy. Sorry. Had to think about it. Oh. 
Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, like I said, I've only put a few hours into this game, so I don't really know that much myself. But if you look here at the map, you got this whole area, but then up top you have a timeline. So you have the ancient era, which is where there's like dinosaurs, the divine era, which is basically the beginning of the, <coughs> the story. So this is where things go wrong and then you have to fix them. Imperial era, I have not been there. The ruined era, I have not been there. And then the end of time, which is like everything is falling apart. There's chaos magic everywhere. And so you kind of use the last epoch, which is a some kind of shard. Kind of like from uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, right? No, Inuyasha. You kind of have the whole shard vibe going on. I want to make sure I'm tracking this quest. Uh, where, oh, where is my quest log? That ain't it. That's the leaderboard. Uh, okay, here's the quest. Okay, it's pinned. I am going the right way. I think it's just bugging right now. Or I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, it's definitely, like I said, uh, I, I like time travel, right? Especially when it's done in a cool way. Whether it's movies or shows or video games. I am not a man of many pockets. So this game uh, piqued my interest. Like, I already was like, oh, I was hearing murmurs of everybody being like, oh, it's, you know, it's not as hard as Path of Exile, but it's, you know, more difficult than Diablo. And so, I, you know, there's a lot of drama, people talking about it, that kind of thing. So I, I've been hearing about this game, but then when I actually put my hands on, I was like, oh, I didn't realize you travel through time like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is the way. Okay, now I see this here. So that we're definitely on the right track. of many pockets get more pockets dude oh, i need to level up as well we'll probably Oops. i gotta remember all my key binds there it is yeah we're gonna have to go back to town i got too much loot oh i have a second slot for this um what is what could this possibly be oh i have so much to look at we're gonna have to go back to town i like to read all of the options and figure out what's what's gonna be my favorite thing to do and what's gonna work well with the build i'm trying to go with um and now i don't know how to open that again that's fine uh health and mana war to gain per 10 health I think we'll just continue on with that. Ooh, disintegrate. There we go. Now we're talking, dude. Then this. Uh, let's go ahead and put disintegrate on there. I I'd like to that. test it. Because I may want to upgrade that one. Um, I forgot. Let me equip what I need to equip. This looks cool. Yeah, we like that helmet. That looks pretty sick. What is this? Oh, this one's going to be better, isn't it? No, not quite. Definitely put those on. If I can get a sword that has like mana, that'd be great. I do have a shield. But I would like a book. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough room. Oh, wait. Yeah, we do. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Um. Oops. 
Don't touch my stuff. I don't even know if other players can. And then, like I said, I'd like a sword in my left hand, but I feel like right now that might not be the best option. What is this? Ward gain on kill or spell damage. Okay, I want the ward gain because I am going like a melee build. Melee-ish. Close range build, let's just say that. Increase minion health. I have no minions. Health region. We're good. I can do this as well. Uh, let's throw that on. Dodge rating's fine. Dodge rating, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one gives me intelligence. Stun chance. Two-handed, we don't want that. Melee and crit, melee and crit. Uh, ooh, increased lightning damage. We could do that. <clears throat> Although, I think I just took my lightning spell off. Now yeah, we're going to stick with what we got for now. Hmm. Sell all this crap. It is what it is. I'm sure I'm supposed to be doing other things with these, but for now, like I said, we're, we're just going to make it work. Wrong. Okay, and then... Shit, what was it to open that up? Um, Passives? No. Skills. S. Got you. Alright, so I want to see... Unlocked by spending points in the mage path. Okay, got you. I want to see what this does. Create a channel, pure energy. Got you. I, I mean, I kind of figured. Let's, um... I want to shoot that disintegrate. See how much mana it, it runs through. And then we'll decide whether we want to upgrade the ice wall or we want to upgrade something else. Oh, okay, got you. It's, it's literally that. Which I kind of like. Costs a lot of mana, though. That's the only thing. Because ideally, I would like... So I have lightning AoE, fire beam, ice, and then... What is this? A, this is a flame ward. I like to, you know, mix it up with my... Oh, and this is lightning as well. Okay. So I kind of like that, but I kind of like this more... Let's, uh, see, I got the Nova there. I feel like the Disintegrate is what I would shoot, and then when they get close, I mean, this is going to be a complicated, probably inefficient build, but we're going to go Disintegrate. I can move these later, I hope. I don't know. <laughs> if not, I'm screwed. Now we need to figure out the end game here. Flame energy buildup. Damage, in, uh, damage per enemy killed. Gain mana every time disintegrate kills an enemy. Okay. See, that would be good. Oh, it turns into a shock beam instead. A fire. Um, let's see. Chance to ignite. Ooh, shock. Wait a minute. Unbridled power. Has a chance to shock, ignite, and slow each second while at tier three. Interesting. Disintegrate tier two, disintegrate tier three. Okay. Hey, Book of Daniel, what's up, dude? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, my man. Uh, we're just checking out some last epoch. What may you be up to, my friend? Uh, disintegrate grants more mana while damaging enemies. Hmm. Okay, so what are these two then? Disintegrate has a chance to shock enemies. Disintegrate has a chance to ignite enemies. So I think we're going to go fire. And then we can only do that. Okay, this one has one. And we were going this way because I get 
ward retention. Boom. Perfect. I mean, not perfect, but good enough. And we shouldn't have much trouble with the campaign anyways. Like, I think it's, uh, from what I understand, it seems pretty relaxed. Could be wrong. I, I know there's a few parts, like there's some wizards that are trapped in shards or something. They're, they're pretty difficult. Yeah, I like this. I'm feeling cool. Yeah, yeah. Freaking laser beam these dudes. say i really like the vibe of the game like look looking at screenshots and like videos of this i don't know if it does i mean maybe it does do it justice but uh like the screenshots on steam i was like ah, i don't know if i like the way this looks you know and then a big part of liking a game for me is like if i'm gonna look at it for 20 30 40 hours i want it to be you know, visually appeasing or appealing to me I want to, you know, look at things I like for a long time. If that makes sense. And the screenshots they had on Steam didn't give me that feeling right away. But then when I got into the game and I saw the time traveling, the way the different zones looked, all that stuff, I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. This makes more sense. Uh oh. Dude, so good. So good. See this guy over here, he's going to be difficult. He'll probably kill me, but I feel like I need to kill him. If I die, I can just come back. See, these are, these are hard. Rune prisons. I want to get all the enemies out of the way I can before I open it up. Yep, yep. About to get real. guy's not playing yeah there's no way like I said these are these are the one guys in the game so far that I found that I, I have trouble with they're not easy I'm already out of potions so I gotta run we'll have to get him next time Next up. Ah, okay, cool. Me was impressive. This guy kidnapped it's our friend. Member so we gotta take him down. Figure out where he took our friend to. Oh, man. 
not putting out quite the damage I'd like to be. Okay, so I see the ward above my health now. That's going to be a good thing to keep my eye on. I'm running out of mana now, which is not good. Is there a way I can get mana potions? I don't think so. Oh, that gives me a lot of mana when I melee him. That's how I regen. Oh, shit. Ah, idiot. Idiot. All right. <clears throat> I won't die this next time. Maybe. I don't know. Can't promise. <laughs> don't stand in the fire. And I, I also, one thing I'd really like for them to add to this game is dodge. I know everybody's saying it. I've heard everybody saying it, and I 100% agree. Just dodge is, I don't know. It's so nice to have. I could understand if it kind of breaks the game and makes it too easy. I could kind of understand that, but... Like, I find myself just hitting spacebar for no reason. Hey, watch out, dude. Am I going to have negative mana? How does that work? Epoch is not yours, dude. Uh oh, that's how he got me last time. really like that my melee gives me mana back. It's pretty cool. Come on, baby. I can't tell if I'm just doing better or if they made it easier. Boom. Told you I wouldn't die that time. What do we get here? Shield. Cold damage. Oh yeah. Critical strike and stun chance. Heck yeah, we want that. Hmm. Transfer mats. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Health. Critical. Uh, block, elemental resist, and increased melee damage. Uh, I kind of like having the book. I do have my ward as a shield, technically. Hey, it's our buddy, Keeper Balthus. You good? 
speaking of like i said i'll i'll stop sk skipping the text eventually but for now once. for now we're gonna zoom through it um do we go back oh, it turned out there that the path is from all the now which speaking of return to What's the keeper's back? camp got you i must reach lean at once there we go Oh, uh, we are in the right category, right? I hope so. If not, we're going to fix it right now. Sometimes my OBS likes to do weird things. Strange, strange things. Blessing. Yep. Be with you. I did your side quest. You're welcome. Thank you for the loot. He's back. And it's all thanks to you. He's been quiet since he returned. You're back. No, not I have. All right. So next up, we have to go get the shard. Sorry to you too. The second shard. There's three shards. What's best for us all? What am I doing? You want to read it? <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> hey, dude. You know. Uh, I'll say this: I've been trying to slow down. Normally, I just click through everything, dialogue or anything written. I'm like, just get out of my way. I want to play the game. But this game kind of has me intrigued. Oh wait, we're in the crumbling ruins. Okay, so I have been to the ruins. Got you. That's right. Okay, I'm getting it out of order. We don't get the second, or maybe we already had the second shard. I don't even know. I think we already had it. Shard seems to have taken me somewhere. Yet my surroundings appear familiar. <laughs> you can read, bro. Usually do too, and then I don't know anything that's going on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's why I, I kind of wanted to like. Plus, we're streaming here. What's the rush? You know what I mean? It's like. We got time to kill. We're out here to play games and have fun and get lost in the sauce. All right, check this out, Daniel. I uh, I started yesterday. I I started using a new software to animate emotes. I'm not trying to sell you emotes or anything. I just wanted to show you because I think it's cool. So now they have like this whole warp uh, warp thing going on. So like the way his arm moves like i wouldn't have been able to do that before without this new software it's not new it's new to me <laughs> God, freaking daniel <laughs> but uh just food for thought if you ever uh you know need anything you know where i'm at actually if i were you i'd give i'd give it a few weeks or a month or whatever or as long as you need and then let me let me get the <clears throat> let me master the software the anime software and then dude like the emotes you should get should be primo dude like i'm trying to step up my emo game big time right now i'm trying hopefully one of these days I'll, i can go full-time streamer slash uh artist if i can uh you know get enough commissions coming in enough work That would be amazing. Because my job is about to switch things up on me, which is fine. Like, I'm going to deal with it. Like, not that big of a deal. But I definitely have my eyes set on the horizon where I'd, I'd like to be doing this stuff full time. Obviously. I mean, who wouldn't, you know? But. Heading home. Right on, Tag. Be safe, dude. Catch you later, man. Congrats again on winning the game, brother. I hope you have a good time with it. Dang, why are the enemies in like the, <laughs> the multiverse or whatever this is, the end of time. I feel like they're easier to kill than that freaking bird man. 
Thanks for popping again. Popping in again, by the way, Tech. Good to see you, dude. All right, I do have a level up, so I need to kill these guys and stop moving. Uh, same old, same old, I think. Wait, I can't get these. What is this? Ward retention. Ward gained. Yeah, I want to be full ward. That way I can focus all my spells on casting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. We're almost like a tank. A spell tank, I guess. Which is cool with me. Not normally what I would do with as far as like the tanking goes. But I feel like in order to play the way I want, which is spell sword, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need that stuff. Right on Daniel. Be out here. We'll be here for a little bit. Well today's Monday, huh? Hmm, I'm on the fence. We could either do Monday movie night here on stream or I could just hang out with the homies in the discord and watch Kill Tony like I normally do. I try to get off watching Kill Tony every Monday, but I just love that show, dude. I can't help it. You love what you love. You know what I mean? And I just love watching Kill Tony on Mondays. Been doing it for like two years straight. <laughs> Headed to the last refugi. I mean refuge. I see Mecho playing this Avorion game. I wonder what that's all about. I'll have to ask him. I've never heard of it. Or I can just look it up, I suppose. Maybe I just maybe he's playing a hentai porn game and I just freaking leaked it. Kind of want to see real quick. I'm curious. Michael is always into very interesting games. There it is. A procedurally, a procedural co-op space sandbox where players can build their own spaceships out of dynamically scaling blocks. Oh, so it's like space Minecraft. Okay, I see. Interesting. Came out in 2020 as well. Interesting. I have never heard of it. Alright. We don't need to talk to all these people. They're just a bunch of turds. They ruined the world and I'm here to save it. That's all you need to know. Yes? Gods be with you. Wants to be with you. Head north, east towards the council chambers. Hey, welcome back, Daniel. Actually, I was thinking about it while you stepped away, Daniel. Um, I might be just down to hook you up with you. You have animated emotes, right? Or slots? I mean, I'll be down to hook you up, brother. Because I ordered. I was gonna do an art stream today and animate some emotes, but then I remembered that I was down one uh, display port. Yeah, I didn't really want to make it work, so I just ordered a new one. But uh, tomorrow or the next day, I would like to do an art stream with this animation software. So I could probably just hook you up, bro, is what I'm getting at. Either that or I'm just going to make stuff for myself. Minimus, run your stupid one. Leave me. 
Minimus. Minimus. Find guardsman wick and the other trapped guards. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the part where soldiers are going to get eaten by giant ass worms constantly. I wonder... I just thought about something. I'm supposed to have cosmetics. Like, do I have two, these two pets following me around? I'm supposed to have other, like a back piece. See, it's not showing it. I definitely, oh, maybe because I'm not wearing a back piece. Maybe that's why. No, because there is no back piece. I'm definitely supposed to have another pet and a back piece from Twitch drops. But I guess it just never gave them to me. Got to be a test email for the new program. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So I'll uh, I'll shoot you a message or something. See what you, any ideas you have in mind. It's easier if we just talk in Discord that way. I I'll, I can look at the message for reference. I basically understand. Uh, how to animate using warp animation with that program but there's a few things i need to dial in i have to like watch youtube videos and such things figure out other techniques i'd like to use yeah these guys ah! <laughs> farewell i'll i'll also be doing the same for uh, rogue wasp and I need to get day case some as well. I want to hook the homies up. So maybe, maybe two times. I don't know. We'll see. You know how I get, but uh, hopefully maybe a couple times this week, I'll be able to do art streams. Be able to hook everybody up. <clears throat> hook the homies up and that will build my portfolio with the new software people will be like ooh <laughs> I am not a man of many pockets I feel like I know that voice. I am not a man of many pockets. It almost sounds like Deckard Kane.
Dang it, my camera was off. I was talking to you, Daniel. My bad. <laughs> Uh, what I was saying was, uh, I will definitely DM you and let you know. Uh, and if, like I said, we'll work, we'll run your idea, or, uh, if you just want to give me creative freedom, I'll come up with something. Okay, I'm gonna die to this guy, 100%. Just so we're all clear here, I'm just gonna let everybody know. These guys are no joke. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how much I was muted or saying, but, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to do a couple art streams this week, at least two, if possible. And, uh, I want to make stuff for Rogue Wasp, AK, make a little something for Book of Daniel, you know, give it back to the people who've given so much to me, that kind of thing. I'm doing pretty well, knock on wood. Doing much better than the first one I encountered. One, zero, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's right. This quest has multiple people I need to talk to that are in different spots. Oh, this guy's got a lot of health. What's up with that? Get a modifier. I really like the laser beam. <laughs> I know it's just this, the same spell as in Diablo, but uh, it's cool. It's just funny that I can be like. Hold on, I could just go like this. <laughs> Laser beam! Alright, how do we get up? Yeah, oh, I gotta do this bridge. Give me the f sharks with freaking laser beams, dude. <laughs> It'd be cool to turn it into like a shock beam. Because I feel like the fire beam is kind of the standard disintegrate. I think most games that have a beam, it's usually fire based. What brings you here? Terra's grace be with you. Came to save you, dude. That's what brings me here. Good. Check this out. Ooh, we got some new shiny armor. Yes, please. New shiny helmet. 
Uh, lightning resistance, elemental nova. Ooh. Um. I don't like the way it looks. Increased elemental damage. Gives me more mana. Uh, we're gonna go with it. I prefer the look of the other one, but that's alright. Uh, book is crap. Necklace is crap. And everything else is crap. <laughs> Making an EDM concert. <laughs> sats, 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 sats. <laughs> Let the mother fucking... <laughs> I messed that up. Let the mother flipping beat drop. <laughs> Everybody. side quest over back this way I've got to check out dark brass scepter oops ooh what is that frost claw I don't think we want that because we like our glacier so much uh, let's go ahead and add more health and mana might as well um let's just see what this does Okay. Oh, wow. That's pretty badass. I don't know if it fits my build, but it is badass. I don't really want to go like full frost, full fire. I'm not really... I'd probably be more beneficial if I did. But I just think it's cooler to be like a master of multiple, you know be able to shoot all of them lightning ice fire earth wind fire water love i understand how some emotes are animated but in some chats they don't come out animated is something streamers in the chat setting or is that an emote setting um i am not so man of many pockets let me think about that it it is a setting but it is also, I think some animated emotes aren't supported on mobile, maybe? Because I know when you upload an animated one, it tells you also to put a, um, like a still frame with it. So if, for whatever reason, whether it's mobile or maybe a setting is turned off, it will play the still image instead. I can't remember. I mean, we could check on mobile. Exactly. Avatar. Wait, we got to finish watching that. Totally forgot. Or maybe we did. I don't know. I want to pull up on, on my phone real quick and we'll see. My channel. There's the stream. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. So when I... I see it animated, but then when I put it in the chat, it shows a still image. But then when I send it to the chat, it shows it animated. I think... Previously, there were no animated on mobile, but they must have updated since. Or maybe... Maybe it's a streamer setting. I, I've never seen that. I've seen on like your end, like if you go to your chat settings and you can turn off animated emotes basically to save like RAM or something like that, I think would be the only reason because I know on my other computer, whenever uh, I had like Franker face and all those you know, add ons installed and it would like bug out my OBS whenever certain like animated emotes would get spammed your twitch apps always needs an update like every month on probably mobile got you got you i almost 
never use Twitch Mobile. I am not a man of many pockets. Unless I'm at work and I'm popping in on a homie. Uh, minimum skill level increased. Minimum skill level dictates how many skill points your skills start with when you specialize them and how many. Okay, gotcha. Oh, dang, we got a bunch of these. Ward retention on kill. Yes. Yes. And then we're working our way towards that one. Two, three. Okay, increase damage by 150. Let's go. And then we'll do that one next and then that one after. And our disintegrate will be bussin. Bussin. North, south, uh, northeast, report. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So we're gonna go northeast, get to the next, hopefully, teleporter. And then we'll go back to the town, turn that side quest in. Oh, I thought you were dead, my dude. Uh, yeah, so I definitely want my glacier back. What is this? Oh, teleport, okay. I like the glacier. It's just cool. Look at it. Boom, boom, boom. It's kind of like the um, druid stone spell from Diablo. I know Radman would uh, spam that puppy, dude. He'd be messing shit up. Glacier plus disintegrate the old frost and burn burn and burn and frost. I like it And when I need mana, I just pop my ward walk up and slap them silly and then boom In theory this is all working Should be getting close to my goal here. Should is the key word. I am not a man of many pockets. Wait. Oh, I thought I sold already. I guess I didn't. Go back to town. I think I want anything except maybe this one. Void resistance endurance ensures you have not plus 34 endurance threshold if you have not been hit recently. Hmm. Yeah, experimental ones are cool, but I don't think those are what I want. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and sell all this. Get it out of here. And then I'm going to use the restroom really quick. Uh, and I'll be right back. In the meantime, enjoy a word from BroBot in a few clips. Be back in just a few minutes. Hello, and thank you for watching. This stream is made possible by viewers like you. We appreciate your support by following, subscribing, and donating. BroBot will be back shortly. Oh, it blew up. Wow. Okay. Actually, not bad. Let's throw another one, can we? That actually did a lot of damage. Now I'm about to lose both my dudes, but. Oh, dude, that's OP. Yes, we won. Heck yeah, dude. That bomb worked really good on that guy. I guess the bosses can't throw it. I don't know. Wait, is that a cat? Oh, look at the pug. Can you pet the dog? Feeling all right, 
You can awkwardly pet the dog. No. <laughs> Oh, dude, <laughs> I got an achievement. Who's a good boy? <laughs> so dumb. So close. I oh, no. No, you don't, dude. No, you don't, dude. Absolutely not, bro. I caramba. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Expose yourself. No, that's not what I meant. Oh, he's exposed. He's exposed. Yeah, boy, get down on the ground. First try. First try, easy, dude. You tell me, Major. Not really. <laughs> Take his heart. Take all of his loot. That axe. He jumps up and smashes it. I found you, Miss New Booty. Get it together and bring it back to me. Hit the players club about a month or two put a tan on it then see what it do get it right get it right get it tight there we go that's i just aged myself you guys know exactly how old i am uh we sold and now we go back I uh, I really like these headphones, but man, the plastic leather kind of stuff keeps like shredding off. And I'm like, oh man, I don't want to buy a new headset. Wait, is this another player? Or are they just fighting each other? Uh oh, now I'm lost. I think I need to go this way. I don't know how I feel about that. Like every time you town portal back, it puts you in a new instance. I guess the idea is to make it all the way through without leaving. I don't know. <clears throat> Not the worst thing in the world, but it's like you could easily get confused. Like, where was I going? All right. Help this dude. I'm helping. I swear on my life, I'm helping. There we go. <laughs> I like that attack. He just like sticks his little claws out. That one. <laughs> flippity flippity. I'm trying, dude. I promise. Not that easy, man. <laughs> that sounds like a Reese Darby. <laughs> Only a little longer. I know it's not, but it kind of sounds like him. Will you? Wait, Tuck, take the elevator to the council chamber. Is it that this? No. See, now I have no idea where to go. Or maybe that was it. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm completely lost. Because I teleported back. Oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. Looks like we're going to run around a little bit. Actually, what we'll do, we'll check the map. So I'm 
I'm here. I need to go here. Oh, wait, no, I've been there. I have no idea. We're going to try to figure it out. Level up, more health. Perfect. We're going to have to eventually do more spell damage, it looks like. I don't think I can only do health and ward. Oops. <clears throat> take the elevator to the council chamber i feel like that was the elevator but i didn't see a way to use it was the problem so i've either messed up royally and got lost or something's wrong something's horribly horribly wrong i already talked to this dude I already opened that chest. I do see to go back down there to do the side quest turn in. I don't see any other players. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Um... Which is, I don't understand exactly how the multiplayer works in this game. Like, do I just have to be partied with people? I see people in town, but I'd never see anybody out in the open world. Which would be a nice thing, I would think. But it, it must be instanced for only party members. The Iron Hammer of Glory. Well, Citizen, what's up, dude? Lurking and working. Love to hear it, dude. Appreciate you popping in, man. Good to see you. Hope all's well. Just messing around on some last epoch, trying to catch up to where I was in my offline character. And we may or may not be lost right now. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. So I feel like where I killed that boss at was where the elevator was supposed to be. But. And if that's the case, I'm gonna have to run all the way back up there. Which is fine, but. Wait, was that not it? Report successful evacuation to the council. Oh, wait, I can go there? Okay. I thought I was going north. I don't know. I'm confused. I got turned around somehow. Oh, and this is where I need to be to talk to him? Okay. Um. Yes. Nice. And then you accept this guy should have a quest too. No, ah, okay. So he just found out I have the epoch. They're like, How'd you get it? I'm like, I don't know. Time travel, that's how. Uh, increase necrotic or minion, increase lightning or minion. Well, obviously that one. 
That's another thing I like about this game. The idol system is pretty cool. It's kind of like relics from Diablo 2. Except... It's like a little puzzle. You can only put so many here. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Melee, physical, melee, health on kill, pickaxe. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Why would you use a pickaxe as a weapon? Um, melee, cold damage, increased physical damage. No, we're good. Uh, void resistance or ward gain on kill. Wait. Oh, it's five ward gain. Okay. Yeah, we want that one for sure. Uh, health regen, we're good on that. Okay, go ahead and sell the rest. And then, okay, we have the last archive. I wonder if I have this teleport because I got it in offline mode. I'm not exactly sure how that works. So I feel like I was supposed to run here, but I didn't have to. All right, so we have to mix it up right here. We can't... Can't do anything. Oh, I can get this one. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Increase attack speed, 3% per point. Increase cast speed. Oh, well, that's definitely what we want. I see, because it has no line to it. Or I could get these. Um, next spell increased by 20. Oh, every three seconds, your next elemental spell deals increased damage and has a chance to slow enemies on hit. Does not scale. Increase cooldown recovery speed. Hmm. I think we're going to go with... That's more of a crit build. I think we're going to go with this one. Increase attack speed. Ooh, volcanic orb. Okay. Well, is that better than disintegrate? <laughs> ah. Cast a fiery orb that spews burning shrapnel in all directions. Well, we definitely want to try it at least once. So this is the last archive. Where is Ezra's uh, library? Oh, I see. Okay. We need to go through there, through there. Got you. Makes perfect sense. Again, I don't know how I got lost and sidetracked, but. Oh, there's Ezreal's library. Perfect. So we'll get the side quest done. Oh, okay. I think I'm more of a fan of the disintegrate. Oh, that takes a lot of mana. I can't do. Can't do both of those. Plus my disintegrate is already upgraded. Definitely liking the build I'm going with so far. Feels good. Feels nice. I'll take that.
Smell you later, dude. What do we got there? Scepter. Ooh. Um. Oh no, hundred and two percent freeze rate. That's wild, bro. There is a crafting system in this game. I don't fully understand either. Um, you press this, and then you were to put like this here, and then. Uh, tier one melee damage leached his health. Tier one melee attack speed. Tier two freeze rate multiplier. Tier one. So far to do this, can't though. I have to put something here. Modifies the outcome of a craft, granting it a 25% chance to have no forging potential cost. Modifies the outcome of a craft when upgrading an affix, randomly changes the upgraded affix to a different one that can spawn on that item type. Oh my gosh. So much. So, if I want increased stun chance, I put that there. Okay, what does this do? Destroys an item, creating a random number of affix shards containing its powers. No, thank you. Rerolls the values of all affixes on item within their tiers. No, thank you. Adds random tier one affixes to empty slot. So, we don't want that. <laughs> But this will upgrade this stun chance, right? Nice. So it's tier two now. We put that back. And now stun chance is now 49%. And I don't know what it was before. I probably should have checked that. That's all right. You live and you learn, right, mates? All right, so somewhere in here, I think this door up here we need to go to. That's so cool, dude. Sound effects are really nice on that disintegrate. That was a dead end, so we go around this way. I like how they're like corrupted magic users. Like they can still shoot lightning, but they're all weird and messed up. So weird how my mana goes into the negative. It just lets me keep casting. But I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just going to let it do its thing. <laughs> Fools indeed. Come on over.
Get melted, dude. <laughs> All right, what did we pick up? Anything cool? So many things. We already upgraded our weapons, so we don't, I don't think we need to look at too much of that. We can transfer those. Cold resistance, get out of here. Um, Void resistance, increased damage over time. We're good on that. Uh, increase health, minion health. Nah, we're, we don't need that. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good. Movement speed, elemental damage. Ooh, that's kind of good. Feel like that one. I wish it would show both the rings. That would be nice. That's fine though. Make it work. There's probably a way. I just don't know what it is. Uh, let's find out. No, it just shows the one. Don't know why. Explanations. Compare. Huh, I don't know. Moving on. I'm gonna go ahead and touch that. I don't think I even need to. I think you just walk near it. What do we got here? Oh, they're corrupted. Excuse me, coming through. Freaking laser beams. Cool how they're each using a different element and I'm using all of them. Does my shield give me mana as well? I'm not sure if it's my melee that's giving me mana or my shield. Maybe it's both. Just give up, bro. You're not going to make it. <clears throat> Kind of did give up. He started running. <laughs> All right. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. It's good. Return to uh, the town. Gotcha. Those are the students of the guy we were looking for. Hey, what up, Bradman? AKA be the meta. What's up, dude? What are you up to? Are you hell diving today or are you taking a little break?
Did you in the fight for democracy? Hey, say less, dude. <laughs> Liberate the creek. That's so funny because uh, Meckle, he was talking about the creek the other day. He, apparently, he made some hats and had them uh, embroidered <clears throat> or used the website, and then he sold a few of them to the guys in the Discord. That's funny. <laughs> apparently, the creek is a big deal. Perfect. Ooh, gloves. I will definitely hop on, dude. I've been waiting for you to pop in here. Whoa, what is this? Avarice. Unique gloves. 3% of elemental damage is leached as health. 35% increased leech rate and 13... Oh my gosh. Yes, please. That is perfect. Green. I don't know what green is. I've never seen a green item, which is strange. Yeah, I will definitely hop in the Discord, bro, and play with you. We did a little bit of Deep Rock. Now we've done a little bit of Epoch. Uh, and then, yeah, Helldivers up next. Uh, do, 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 do. I kind of, oof, I don't like the minion damage, but I like the intelligence. Uh, we're just going to put that on. We're just going to put that on. Okay. <clears throat> I think everything else is good. <clears throat> I like those gloves. Oh, the game's been muted the whole time. No one said anything. Ah, I'm such an idiot. That's all right stay safe all right well on that note we're going to play some hell divers baby love it love it thanks for watching bro be sure to like and subscribe